Hey, thanks for joining me on the channel. Now then, today we are going to be talking about the price increases that have happened recently with leisure travel vans. And I'm gonna do a comparative. We're gonna jump on the website and I'm gonna build my exact same leisure travel van Unity FX that I built two years ago. I ordered mine February of 2020, right before the world shut down as we knew it. Um, and I was very fortunate. I only had to wait a couple of months because I got mine in May of 2020. Have been enjoying it ever since then, as you probably have seen in some of the videos. But if this is your first time on the channel or you have yet to subscribe, hey, please do so. Click that subscribe button. Also, if you think about it, hey, give me a thumbs up, really. All of those interactions helps the um, helps YouTube promote the channel to other people who may be interested in RVing, leisure travel vans, whatever. Anyway, I appreciate your help on that. But now then, yes, I have been enjoying my leisure travel van for two years now, but there is a wait. Um, I'm hearing reports of two, maybe even three years if you were to put an order in today. And so if you put an order in today on the price we're about to see on the LTV website, is that price going to hold up in two years? So if, if you've got one order, if you've had one order for a while, put in the comments below if you have received a notification that you're actually going to be paying more than what you contracted for whenever you uh, put your order in. Um, because yeah, model years now, you may have ordered in 2021 and maybe now you're going to get a 2023 because of the labor shortage, COVID shutdowns, the, you know, there's no awning still. I hear now that the microwaves are on back order and so they're not able to, to put all of the units out that, that have already been built. So it's going to cause delays. So put in the comments down below um, how long you've been waiting if you're waiting at all, um, or if you're going to move on to a, a competitor, I've actually had a conversation with a few people that have bought uh, Regencies or bought Tiffin Wayfarers or what have you. Um, and so are you still going to continue to wait? Put all of that in the comments below. But anyway, we're going to do a side by side comparison. What did I pay in 2020? And what is that exact same rig cost in 2022? So with that being said, let's jump over to the website and take a look and just build my exact rig and see how much more it cost in 2022 than in 2020. All right, here we are at the Leisure Travel Vans website, leisurevans.com. And of course, there's the Wonder. There's also the Unity, which is this is what we're going to be talking about today. Now then, Wonder pricing. I don't know what Wonder pricing was in 2020. If you do, put that in the comments down below uh, so that maybe we could take a look at that in a future video and see how much more the Wonder costs in 2022 over 2020. Now then, Ford has done a ton of upgrades. I'm assuming it costs more. You can get some all-wheel drive. You can, they've got a brand new chassis and all kinds of new features in that. But anyway, we're going to be talking about the Unity. So let's just start building. Like I said uh, before, I've got an FX. So uh, here are the floor plans you can choose. Murphy bed, FX, corner bed, rear lounge, twin bed, and of course, the island bed went bye-bye. No more island bed. So if you're a fan of the island bed, sorry. Uh, which is probably didn't sell that well just because it basically this layout instead of twin beds here it had a big bed right here that basically made took up the entire room back here you couldn't walk right there anyway I digress back to the FX which that's what we're going to choose because that is what I have now the starting price in 2022 is 164 525 all right jump over to the exterior now then, Leisure Travel Vans does not charge extra for paint um, options. A lot of uh, RVs do. If you look at my Winnebago video, you'll see that if you want a full body paint, it's going to cost you $8,000 plus uh, at standard on Leisure Travel Vans. So we're going to choose Atlantic Blue. because That is what they have in 2022 now. Mine was called Denim at the time which is blue here and silver here. So silver and blue compared to white and blue. Now, now I don't, I, I like this. This is nice. I, I wouldn't care either way if I had silver or if I had white. All right, so of course that didn't cost anything extra. So let's jump over to the cabinetry. Now then, this is where they have deleted my option. I have espresso because when I ordered 
they only had three options. They had the maple, espresso, and, and cherry. So cherry is gone, and now it looks like espresso is gone, which is very interesting. I didn't think they were gonna take that away. I don't know if this is a supply chain issue or if they just discontinued it. But anyway, they brought over natural rift and cashmere, and of course you can still get the maple. Now then, I'm kinda glad they did this because I think the maple, the cherry, and the espresso were getting a little long in the tooth. They've offered them for many years. I think getting a new refreshment of natural rift and cashmere, a little mod more modern looking. I like the wood grain look on it. I think I would choose the natural uh, drift though. All right, when we look down here at the cabinetry upgrade, what is this talking about? Up here, you can get Fennec. So when I had mine, I'll show you a picture of mine here. Here's the here's the inside of mine um, with the espresso. You really need this cabinetry upgrade. So let's jump over here. And so it's called Fennec, uh, Bianco White Fennec material. Um, here, I don't think it's that necessary because this is already so light and airy, you don't need it. With my espresso, if you didn't have this and this here, I think it would have just been way too claustrophobic and dark. So we'll choose it since I did. That's $741. It was not $741 when I got mine. I don't remember exactly what it was. All right, upholstery. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, countertop. So basically the same. I think they did change this name here. I do have the Antarctica white. Um, on mine. Now then, um, just a little plug right quick. If you have not gotten the Pagosa Supply Co. sink covers yet, you can get yours. If you get Antarctica here, you can get an Arctic white cutting board slash sink cover or the bamboo and replace this heavy Corian sink cover that Leisure Traveling gives you. Anyway, just a quick little plug. All right. Yes, I would choose Antarctica. That's not a price difference if you choose either one. Upholstery, now then, I thought that they were changing these names. They have not yet on the um, on the website yet. So still Mountain, which is um, the gray, Earth, which is the, uh, the browner. And then, of course, I got Fog again because of all of that dark wood in our FX. So I got the Fog. But it does show a lot of stuff. So keep that in mind. It's basically white. It is white. Not basically, it is white. All right, let's jump over to the options. Now then, here's where it's going to get expensive. All right, uh, Sprinter chassis upgrades. Now, the the 2019 uh, Mercedes-Benz chassis is fantastic. Adaptive cruise control, 10-inch infotainment screen, just a ton of safety features, a lot of luxury. It looks like an S-Class Mercedes inside. Huge fan. In fact, I always say one of my favorite things about owning a leisure travel van is driving it. I love driving it. All right, Truma Aquago, that's also standard. You will love this. This is fantastic. It's um, on-demand hot water. If you have it on the correct setting, you just turn on the, the hot water and it's instantaneously there. All right, Wi-Fi extender. This is standard. Um, it's basically a few things in one. Wi-Fi extender doesn't work that great. Never use it. Uh, there's a, I'll put a link to what I use for internet in, in, in mine. 4G LTE, don't use that. What I do use it for is it has the HD TV antenna inside, uh, and that works great. So wherever I'm at, I can usually turn that on and get some over-the-air um, uh, network channels. Watch football, whatever, the game, whatever. All right, we've already chosen this, $740. Now then, in 2022, this was supposed to be standard, uh, but I have heard because of supply chain issues that this went back to being an option, almost 3000 bucks. All right, I did choose that. Um, is it worth it? Eh, looks nice, I guess so. Now then, uh, if you've seen my video about getting locked out of my leisure travel van, I wish I would have got this option, but I did not. I would get it today, yes, 100% get the ladder. Table, no, did not get that. Uh, when I saw it in person, it was heavy, it takes up space, no, I wouldn't get it. Instead, I, <clears throat> I have a $30 Coleman fold-up table I got on Amazon. Works a lot better, in my opinion. All right, generator. Would I get this diesel generator? Because I did, I'm gonna add that $8,400 to the price. No, I would not. And I'll put a link to the video of why I would not up above. So watch that if you wanna know about generators. 
This is what I would do instead because of my lithium batteries. I In solar, I really don't use the generator anyway, so I would have saved that money. It's almost half price, basically. All right, leveling jacks, 100%. Love that. So choose that. Um, don't even question yourself. Just get these. Fantastic. Also, not just levels you coach out. Also makes it very stable when you're inside of it. Um, and if you're like me, you appreciate that. Okay, lithium battery upgrade. They did not offer this whenever I purchased. Would I do it today? No, wouldn't do these. I would do aftermarket because this is way too expensive for just 200 amp hours. So my Lithionics 315 amp hour battery is, is like having three of these in the space that these fit in um, and much more robust, much more many more features and way cheaper than these per amp hour so and uh, anyway but if you just want a you want it to come from the factory with the lithium spend the four grand go for it if you don't you know spend a quarter of that and get the same basic thing and, and pop them in there or if you want to go you know 315 amp hours built-in bluetooth um, built-in heater all of that stuff choose the lithionics okay macerator did not get this for several reasons um and you know a lot of people do get this i chose not, there's only one time that i ever wished i would have had it um but other than that no i didn't get it yes i did get this remote key fob 403 dollars to me it's worth it uh it's only not worked once um but uh, it fixed itself somehow but anyway it opens the house door along with your mercedes-benz doors and so you only have one key fob all right, yes, removable table, 100%. Highly recommend that. At first, we didn't use it, but then once we did, we couldn't live without it. Safe, yes, I did get that. Would I get it again today? Probably not because it already broke. I have to open it with a key. This key uh, pad doesn't work any longer. has an error code that they cannot remedy and is not covered under warranty. Well then, so good on you, Dometic. All right. Satellite dish, no, we did not get that. I also don't recommend it. It's $2,000, sits on top of your coach, and if you're under trees, you're probably not going to be able to connect. I would recommend spending four or $500 on like the Dish Network King. Um, I think it's called a King system. Um, that's mobile. You just set it outside your coach, out from under the trees, plugs into the satellite plug in your coach that you are, that's already there. Um, and save 1500 bucks and, you know, get a little more use out of it. All right, solar. Yes, I got the 400 watts of solar. Now then, fortunately for you, they have upgraded this to a uh, rigid. So we have flex panels, which are basically glued to the top of our coach. Not that great, not that efficient. Um, these are much better, but yes, I did get that. All right, here we are, $184,142. I will say that this costs about twenty-five to 30000 more than I paid just two years ago. Brand new, custom ordered, just like I did. So, of course, things that cost more in 2022, there's inflation, there's labor shortages, there is um, supply chain issues, and so I'm sure the chassis costs more, I'm sure everything inside costs more, you know, even these stinking awnings right there that everybody's waiting on, that even when you get it, because you can't not get it, come standard, I would suggest don't open it, because there's a good chance it may not close. So, uh, anyway, um, that's just my two cents on awnings, not a huge fan of the awning just because they can break uh, and then you're kind of stuck. Anyway, so 184,000, what do you think? How does that compare? Like I said, if you can jump over to Airstreams, uh, they're about $100,000 more than this. Now they do have a few more features like Air Ride and some things that really at the end of the day don't matter. Uh, I still think $184,000 is a really good price for what you get with a Leisure Travel Van. Uh, the Leisure Travel Van has, is quality, the, the community is fantastic, the company is is, is uh, still uh, family owned, it's not part of one of the big giant corporations, um, and so you can actually get somebody on the phone and, and they will help you. So I'm a big fan of the Leisure Travel Van, even though it costs Twenty-five to thirty thousand more than I paid in 2020, just two years ago. I still believe that this is a fantastic option for you. Now, do you want the wait time? That's the question. Or should you jump over, get a Tiffin Wayfair, Winnebago, Airstream? With that being said, Leisure Travel Van. Don't think you can beat it. Still think this is a great price.
All right, so what do you think? $30,000 more, basically, uh, more than in 2020, plus the lead times are very, very long. Are you still interested in a leisure travel van? Put that in the comments down below. Do you still plan on waiting? If you put an order in in February of 2022, what year model will you actually get? Will it be a 2024? And then what are the prices going to be? So all I can say about that is, hey, if you do choose to go with one of the competitors that's a little quicker, hey, I wouldn't blame you because RVing is about experience. It's not about name brands. It's not about what options you have. It's just about getting out there and enjoying your life. You ain't getting any younger, you know. But if you want to wait for a leisure travel van, man, I will say that is the best of all of these uh, in this in the category of the B plus. Uh, it's actually a, a class C, but they call it a B plus. Leisure travel van, in my opinion, is by far the best, and that price point is still cheaper MSRP wise than the competitors. Now I understand you can get the Winnebago's a whole lot cheaper, like fifty thousand dollars off is what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. Give it a whirl though. Anyway, but with that being said, that's basically all I got to say for this week. And thank you for joining us and we will see you next week.